Welcome to the Flash Performance Home Office where I got hate mail from Autel and I'm going to show you how to fix it. Well, okay, so it wasn't actually hate mail from Autel. It was more of a, hey, Chad, you're being dumb. You need to fix your tool. And that all came about on my MS906TS. So I am getting an error message whenever I try and do an update. So let's go back over here to the tool, and you can see that I am super behind on my updates. We're going to go ahead and click the Update tab. And when I try and click Download, you'll see it says Insufficient Space on SD Card. Please clear the SD card space. So we're going to go through that process on how to do that. Now, when we do this process, it's going to completely wipe out the tool. It's going to delete everything off of the tool, including any photos, any customer information. It's also going to delete any of your history records that you have on the tool. So make sure you click on the link that, uh, that I have up here. Make sure you click on that card. It shows you how to do the backup and restore on those specific files if you want to do that. We're going to go through the process today of just how to reset your tablet back to factory spec and this can be used in many different times in many different ways. If we click on the home button that's going to take us back to the Android screen. We can select settings and we can go down to storage and you can see that it says on my storage that storage space is running out. I don't have a whole lot of space left on the tool. And a lot of that is actually my fault because I have some videos and some camera still images on there but also because of how you do the update process. What happens is if you do an update all, some of those files aren't completely loaded into the tool and it will create fragmented files. But also what happens is when you update cars, some files are left behind, just fragmented files. So it creates trash in there. We can do a couple different options to be able to fix that. Autel has given us that capability. So first one would be if we go back to the home screen and we select on Maxi Tool. On Maxi Tool, you're going to see a button that says GC or Garbage Clean. This is going to go through the process of just wiping out some of the temporary folders, just trying to freshen stuff up and clean some stuff up. Now, this will delete the vehicles, but it won't delete them all the way. You'll still have some fragmented files on there. This is more for the, the extra stuff, the um, temporary files from your internet, the pictures, the videos, that kind of thing. So that's not the solution that we're going to use today. I'm going to take you back to the Android home screen. We're going to select settings and we're going to go down to reset. Whenever we select reset, you're going to see it says factory data reset. If we select on factory data reset, we would then select on SD card. We want to erase the SD card because that is internal memory on the tool. It's not the SD card that you think of the little card that goes in the top. We need to erase that SD card, so we're going to select Erase SD Card, and then we're going to select Reset Tablet. You're going to get a warning on your tablet saying, hey dummy, this is going to erase everything on your tablet. That includes all cars, all manufacturers, everything, just like this came out of the box from the factory. If you are not under update contract, you will not be able to recover this information. It will be deleted forever and ever. Amen make sure you're under update contract before you do this process. So the next step in this is we're going to erase everything and that is going to completely wipe out the tool. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that we've done the complete reset on the tool, whenever we go back into the MaxiSys application, you're going to see that it says an internet connection is required because we have completely deleted everything out of the tool. So let's go ahead and set up our internet connection by holding down on the Wi-Fi. We're going to pick the location And now we're connected back to Wi-Fi. Let's go back over to the MaxiSys home screen. Click on Diagnostics. You'll see that all the vehicles and their history are gone. Let's go over to the Android screen and click on Settings and see where our storage level is. So now, out of 32 gigs, I have 27.72 available. So I have lots of room to start over. Back to the MaxiSys home screen. Let's click on Updates. You're going to see that all the updates are going to start populating back into the tool. 
This is a 906 TS, so we have diagnostics and we have TPMS to be able to update. So we have to update both sides of the tool. But you'll notice that the library communication and all the vehicles are grayed out. We have to do the system updates first. So we're going to go ahead and start that process in doing the system update. And then we'll go through and update each one. Now, I had discussed the update all button. Autel does not recommend using the update all button because most people abuse it and use it in the wrong way. Autel recommends only updating three different manufacturers at a time. So take that into consideration whenever you're doing your, uh, your updates through these new vehicles. I'm not gonna bore you with the process of updating a tool. I have other videos based on that, but that is how you do a factory reset if your SD card is full on your tool. You don't have to update all vehicles. You can update only the vehicles that you're going to see in your market, and that will give you some more room also. Thanks for watching. I'm Chad from Flash Performance Home Office. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. We'll talk to you next time.